Hi campers, it's Pat Sloan. Get on the bus. This is the last block for summer camp here with Camp Sloney, the Sloan Zone. Yeah, so we have been doing a fun, easy summer sew along for block Wednesday. Just nine blocks and we have a quilt. A um, little bit of sashing. <laughs> okay, so what is our ninth block? We are going to celebrate the end of camp, which for me was the sleepover. You got to sleep over on the last day of day camp. We had one night over and that is what made a huge impression on me. Um, now, you know, it was fun. One time it poured rain. I mean, we had like rain running through the tent. I mean, who doesn't have rain on camping? You know, that just seems to be what happens. Uh, so here is our block and I'm gonna show you mine. There it is. Easy peasy squares, lots and lots of squares. It's amazing how, how you place squares, how you do the sizes, how you do the colorations and what can happen. Now, I always give you a layout and I've been showing that on the picture for the block, a layout of the block in repeat. I think this one will be fabulous in repeat. It gives that chain effect, so cool. All right, I have a couple of uh, thoughts about the picking of this fabric and some options. So let's take a look. <laughs> Before we look at the fabric options for the last block today, block nine of summer camp, let's look at the colors used. I've got some yellow, yellow, blue, blue, blue. Uh, and so down here, I think I wanna pull in blue and a bit of yellow. So get that repeated over here into this block. So that's the goal we're gonna look at when we go over on the back side here. Being able to see the blocks together on this last one, the decision making then is pretty tight. I can see what I wanna repeat. I mean, I don't have to do it like that, but I think it's nice to sort of pull those colors back down around. It's definitely the blue, get a little bit stronger blue in here. So I've got the fabrics, the blues and the yellows, and a little pop of black maybe, maybe on the table. The background for the lighter block, here, let's just do the bigger, uh, here we go. Okay, so for the lighter block, all that light will be my background. And then I have these two big squares, which I could do the same fabric in all of these, although they blend. So I wanna do a different fabric here. I don't want that square to blend into this nine patch, uh, even though the colorations are really similar. And then there's a sort of a medium tone right here. So if I've got the background, and let's pick, I always like to pick my bigger color first, the big piece, because that is going to give the most, you know, it's you visually see more of it, so that will be good. Now, I, if I wanna pull in blue, and really, really wanna pull in blue, I could go ahead and do something like this blue, or this one, which really, gives that strong pop of blue. Uh, in the other quilt, the other blocks rather, these are the two that are used. So you can see that they really give a strong, a strong blue. And of course I could use those again, but I don't, I don't really want to do that. I think I'd like to try something else. So if I'm gonna use this block as the corner here, um, and there and there. So I've got that blue going across. Now if I want to make the blue here, uh, the, of the nine patch, I could go and pick this one because there's enough contrast. See, it's not going to blend in where it touches because it touches on two sides. Then uh, I need yellow. So if I wanna pop yellow in here, I don't think I want this super strong yellow because I not really haven't really used that. I have used this one and where's the other one? Oh, it's under here. I've used these two yellows. Uh, in, in other blocks. So I'm not going to use that one. Uh, this one also reads really um, solid-y, but this is also kind of nice because it's got a lot of yellow, but it brings in the other colors. So I'm thinking this will be the other part of the nine patch. So these two will be the nine patch. Uh, this will be the big square and the little square. And then the background is all the white. So you've got white, in these corners and uh, for the nine patch and then the strips. So that will bring in a ton of blue and some yellow to the block. Well, let's take a look. This is before I sew it. Uh, and actually on the pattern, I have these two as the same fabric as the four patch, I mean the nine patch. So you could also 
do like I mentioned and bring that color out to the corner like this which for this particular set of fabric I like that better um, I didn't write the pattern like that but that's okay you can change it just like I'm probably gonna change it then I thought well this is very blue very very blue so I'm like thinking oh is it gonna be too blue so let me try a different fabric here which has a little bit of other colors in it here is this patchworky one and then what I would do would be to use it in the corner like this and what's neat about this fabric is it does have uh, more colors in it uh, but I think it doesn't go well with these now so these would need to be switched to probably um, you know like the yellow like this so that it just doesn't have because I just don't think they play well even though that there's that yellow I mean this pattern is in the quilt so like I can just show you here real quick I'll just put rather than cutting it right now I will just put it underneath and show you so like there would be so you would get this stronger pop of yellow through here rather than this soft print uh, so that would be a second way but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stay with the original but switch to what I said in the video but not what I was planning <laughs> but not what the pattern is is to leave the same fabric in the four corners as in as the big squares make that the same so I'm gonna do it like this all right now to sew it up all right I'm gonna put it in here so we can see it and you know I was concerned that maybe it was too much blue but I'm loving it it's not looking like too much blue to me now when you go to my website today I'll have a straight-on picture of this so yeah that works that works brings that blue in and pulls it down here plus some more pops of yellow so uh, let me talk about the sashing because you have the sashing directions you've had them since day one uh, I've put them out so you have these directions now I originally was going to put the and I may still I don't know but I was going to put the white background here as an inner border which you know the background of my design board kind of simulates that I also have enough of this pink to do an inner border all the way around which would be nice uh, but I was also thinking I wonder what it would look like to be scrappy if I took the blues and it would have to be scrappy because this is just a fat quarter bundle so there are not enough of all of the blues but if I have one two three I have four different blues or if I went with the lighter one no wait here it goes this is the one yeah I want to do the ones that have the same tone like this one is which one is not like the others which one is one not like the other so this one's darker right so let's put that out so I was thinking of doing one inner border on each side from each of these to bring more blue to bring that blue which will then bring the blue from that outer border in and I could do it with any of those colors I could do the yellow because I have quite a bit of the yellow I could do the green but there's um, introduce I think the greens too strong it introduces too much of another color so that would be that would be putting some green in there I think it's just too much so anyways that's another thought that I'm thinking of is just doing a bunch of these borders uh, each one or scrappy like just do strip of one two three four then the next color one two three four you know like so alternating the four of them and then doing the inner border like that and I think I'm going to cut them and just see what that looks like at least you know a couple pieces so I can kind of visualize and I will show you that probably before next Wednesday uh, okay so remember remember Kendall our ambassador Kendall Taylor from Australia he is doing uh, technique videos and he is making the blocks and showing techniques and so if you enjoy watching those videos you will love his channel he is super good at it uh, and you will just get a lot of information particularly if you're a new quilter maybe and you're not really sure about block construction Kendall is walking you through all of that on his channel all right now speaking of green I pulled this up I have a follow-up to my bin of uh, you know from sorting from yesterday so let's take a look at that so this is a continuation of the other day in order to put these fabrics away like this that came in the bundles I have to 
often make space in my bins because my some of my bins are pretty full and that means you know trading out maybe a newer fabric for an older one and letting the older ones go on to the charity or maybe looking again to see that there's fabrics maybe i'm nah, i don't really need so i'll send those to the charity so let me show you what's going on with the green bin now remember i have the pink and gray as well so here's my green bin and i've i had actually a big piece of fabric in here that I took out so that I could have some room. But really what I need to do is pull it out by color so that I can put these by color. So like these are the darker, the darker shades. Oh here, like, you know, everybody needs leopard skin in green, animal print, animal print in green. So these are the darker fabrics. And then what I'll do is look at these and decide, um, there's some that are more prints. Yeah, decide if there's anything in here I can sort of move off to a new home and then I will take the rest of these like here's some green darker greens that got out of order they were with the lighter ones so I want to make all these stacks so that they're by the right color and I have kind of a lot of medium scale right here can you see I have a lot of medium scale like here's another one that's a little bit darker and yeah so I need to go and sort these and then I can take the new ones here and put them in the bin. So let's see, I'm just going to grab some of these and I'll make the sorting because you know, that's a little bit like watching paint dry. Oh, here, here was one that a friend sent us. One of the friends sent me, oh, it's a Tilda with the ladies. I think they made, she made them into like pin cushions or something. There's a pattern on Tilda's site. So cute. All right. I like this one too. I've used this a couple times. So like here's a big piece. So that's actually would be good for a charity if I decide I don't want it because they can really use these bigger pieces. So now these are more medium and a different shade of green. They're not quite so olivey. Oh, there's one with airplanes. Okay, so you can see how this goes. <laughs> so I gotta review and look at everything. Oh, nice big polka dot, gotta keep that. Um, so I'm going to go through, finish this up, and put these in here, and then I'll show you the stacks, and we'll put them back in the bin. So it's interesting to see the piles and like how much is in each one. So this pile is definitely kind of the medium range, and there's a lot more in it. This pile is more white based and it's smaller. This one is kind of a lot. A lot of them that are sell what I call celery green. It's like a particular shade and of course they're lighter. Oh look at the carrots. Oh remember those? So cute. And then we've got the more olive. That's primarily the olive green. And this is the kind of a little bit darker. I mean it basically goes with this stack, but they're not olive green. The other shades of green. So I will just stack all these and I slide them in my basket when they're on their side. And these baskets have been around. I've had them forever. So there you go. So they're on their side. They came from the container store many years ago. I wonder if this is going to fit. I may have to. Okay, so I like to do them all at once. So I'm going to do the taller stack first. I think I, I think it'll go in there. These um, are a very pliable. See, they're pliable, this plastic, but then there's a metal rim right in here. And um, that's it, just at the top. But they do, they are flexible. So I can jam a lot in here. Whoops. But I have to have them, uh, I have to do the basket on its side. I find, whoops, so this stack is just not behaving. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, so we'll do the basket like that. So <coughs> on its side. <coughs> Okay, they're all in there. Now I'm going to <laughs> going to put this stuff stuff in there. Okay, now the rest can go in because this is a shorter stack. There we go. Okie doke. And voila. The basket is filled in <laughs> with the with the fabric. Here we go. And now it can go back on the shelf. And I do have a stack of green for charity. 
work and this this bigger piece I'm going to go ahead and let that one go because I don't have any plans for it right now um, it's not a basic which means it'll you know not be be able to get any more of it so I think I'll just go let it go because they can use it more than me all right so that's how that basket got filled up and I have to repeat that for the gray and the pink and the sun just came out so I got very light <laughs> So I did get that done. I got all those things done. I still have more to go through, but that at least was alleviated like one drawer down here of the rolling cart. Also, you can see back here, shark, my shark is done. The top is done. So I just put it on the front. I just laid it on top of the pillow so that I could see the size. So this is definitely will fit on this pillow. So I'm going to quilt it with the wave stitch and get that shark pillow done. Whoops, just leave him back here, little mascot. <laughs> Let's do a little mail call for summer camp because if you're there for more than one night, you would get mail, hopefully, because that would be super fun. So the mail, first one is from Sue in Arizona. She sent me this beautiful card and aqua two and a half inch squares and salvages. You can look at the little dump trucks. Ah, so cute. Then I have from Marie in Texas look how beautiful this is now she started quilting she told me about the same time i did but she only recently found me so that's super cool i'm so glad you did and she there she goes she has my aqua squares for me i love that i'm gonna have such nice variety now okay our ambassador brenda in maine she saw this and thought that they look like my fabric the little bluebirds oh so adorable and she decided I needed some cocktail napkins for my, my couple of days off. So this also has a recipe for pink lemonade vodka. That sounds good. <laughs> I think I'm going to try that on my days off. Party like a flock star. Okay, I love it. Love it. Thank you, Brenda. Mwah. And I got a box from Elaine in Pennsylvania. Ooh, let's see what's in here. So, okay, so I'm going to pull the things out. She sent a Christmas in July, and we're going to say Christmas in August because it's just starting August. So she sent me this beautiful card. Look at that. And some fun goodies. So first of all, let's see what's in here. It is something, something uh, made because it's wrapped up. Okay, so let's open it and see. Oh, look at this. Oh, how cute is that? It's a dimensional pillow. It's a pillow, pillowcase. See, it's a pillowcase with a beautiful poinsettia. I actually have a white poinsettia bowl that was my granny's that I get out at Christmas. This is like, looks exactly like it, Elaine. Oh my goodness, that is so darling. So darling. And then she... <laughs> she found me some cute earrings look at these guys are those mittens i think they're getting ready for christmas right my mitt mitten earrings <laughs> and she sent me a few aqua squares and some salvages and look at this some summer lobstery fabric oh my goodness i'm dying look how cute this is look at this the fish and the lobsters oh this is this is awesome this is awesome elaine ah oh. I think I need a little zippy bag or a little pouch or something. <laughs> Look, <laughs> hugs and kisses <laughs> for Shark Week. This is amazing. This is so cute. Ah, oh, so she kind of look like that. Got teeth like that. And she sent me some goodies. Two of these. One for me and one for Mr. Greg. Oh, I'm fruit salad. See, kids and grown-ups love it. Gumi bears. And for those of you who get confused why I say it gumi, because that's German. And, the, and I learned to eat these in Germany when I lived in Germany. And it's a German candy. So you say it like them, which is a gumi. It's not like chewing gum uh, at all. <laughs> so thank you, Elaine. Mwah. This is just so great. Okay, let me show you my block again. And I promise before next Wednesday, I will tell you what I'm going to do with the sashing. I will show on um, one of the next videos how I figured out. So you're going to tell me about any sleepovers you've had at summer camp, uh, anything fun that happened, ghost stories at night, right? Uh, <laughs> so I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online. Mwah. <laughs>